As you become a better, stronger, more capable man, falling in love will actually be an inevitable occurrence in your adolescence. But just like any good thing, there is such a thing as too much. Finding a partner and being their armor is a wonderful thing to experience, however, if mismanaged, it can just as easily become what tears you down and destroys your fortress if you allow it. When I was in high school, I actually got my first girlfriend a couple weeks after I graduated, and as any other guy with no experience, she became everything to me. She was more important than I was, and not in a healthy way. Late night Skype calls, Hanging out six to seven days a week, five to six phone calls a day, my hobbies were her, my interests were her, my personality was her. I started to lose myself, and inevitably when the relationship ended, my world absolutely shattered. I had nothing, I felt nothing, I didn't want to do anything, and all while she moved on without a care in the world. This is the unfortunate reality of neediness. When you're unable to construct a meaningful existence outside of yourself, you fall into the absolute most unattractive energy of neediness. This is because you require your partner to feel fulfilled. Obviously this is dangerous because once that person leaves, they take your purpose with them. Mikasa Ackerman is an objective example of neediness that immediately comes to mind. See, I understand that there are story reasons as to why she acts the way she does, so before you freak out and you're like, eh, that's not the reason, shut up. I'm gonna focus purely on her actions for the sake of the video. Mikasa was adopted into the family of Aaron Yeager. Like, she's calm, collected, and extremely strong, like very strong. She's able to easily throw Aaron against a wall should she choose to. Although she's the baddest bitch in Attack on Titan, <laughs> She's developed a very strong attachment to Aaron. You could even call it obsessive. She is constantly by his side, says his name a million times, and has basically made Aaron her entire personality. In season one, it was cute, but over time, it became a little much. This powerful need to protect Aaron originated as children. Aaron brutally murdered two grown ass men who tried to hurt Mikasa. This entire event ended up awakening her Ackerman instincts and her abilities were unlocked. Aaron has showed her kindness that she hasn't felt before and as a result she grew a strong affection for him. Her obsessive attitude towards him has caused her to become reckless in many situations and endanger those around her. For example when the female titan ate Aaron. Her actions ended up causing Levi to intervene and injure his own foot. We've seen on multiple occasions how much influence Aaron has on her. We almost got a kiss, but he curved the hell out of her. That's that that was sad. As Aaron's Sanity started to slowly erode the more he learned about his circumstances, we can see how much of an effect that had on her mental health as well. She wasn't too vocal about it, but her mannerisms showed that she was tearing up inside. When Aaron left the home, he took Mikasa's happiness with him. The detrimental effects of neediness cannot be understated. Many, many young guys who are dealing with relationships for the first time fall into the trap of being needy. Not only is this the biggest turnoff in existence, it also clouds your judgment. You begin to alienate those around you in pursuit of the validation of your significant other. Neediness is essentially a lack of self-esteem. It becomes important to you to put all your trust into another person because you don't trust yourself. But that's okay. As long as you can acknowledge that things need to change, then things will change if you take the appropriate action. If you want to nullify neediness, you need to start exploring yourself. You can begin with finding a hobby you enjoy, and I don't recommend video games for this simply because they aren't helping you build your character. We want to become a man who is happy and content with ourselves, and gaming is not the way to do that. Combat sports, playing music, golfing, I don't know, curling, just pick something you enjoy doing. This will give you something to do when you're away from your partner, and it'll also give you a passion to put your energy into. You also have to build your social circle. Our generation, unfortunately, has to deal with an epidemic of fatherlessness, and because of that, young men struggle to build bonds with other men. If you build a brotherhood of people, then you have others to build and grow with like my Discord channel. Go ahead and join in the description. Without that brotherhood, you have no choice other than to put all of your time into your woman and trust me, that is not a good thing. As you build yourself up, your girl will yearn for your company even more and the love will only go stronger. But if you need extra help in finding your purpose, I provide lifestyle and fitness coaching in the description. We can talk about how to get you going in the right direction. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to our channel. This is your Sensei King Kai and I'll catch you in the next one. Deuces. Fine, breathe, sweet, love